Archaeologists stunned by Unikai idol discovered in ancient city of Petra. The set of unique stones was found during excavations in an area that was inhabited thousands of years ago. Petra was the beating heart of the Middle East. The region's political, commercial, and cultural hub, it was initially established as a trading post but soon grew into something much more. A people known as the Nabataeans were the natives of the area and soon amassed a handsome wealth for themselves. The old borders of Petra are located in present-day Jordan and Israel. Inhabited for thousands of years, archaeologists have over the decades uncovered an absolute treasure trove of artifacts, including one set that hinted at the city's pagan past. Petra existed in a time before mainstream religion, as a number of stone eye idols proved. Explored during the Smithsonian Channel's documentary, Sacred Sites, Petra, the stones and idols revealed to researchers that the Nabataeans worshipped three female deities. These were Alat, goddess, Alaza, the powerful one, and Manet, the goddess of fate, each one venerated at the Nabataeans' great shrines and temples. Dr. Glenn Corbett, from the American Center for Oriental Research in Jordan, said, the Nabataeans themselves who lived in Petra seem to have worshipped in particular the goddess Alaza, who is simply termed the mightiest. At the center of Petra stands the Temple of the Winged Lions, named after the carved winged lions that once adorned its columns. It was here that archaeologists first came across one of the eye idols. A unique eye idol was discovered here, ornately carved, it is a striking image of a goddess, the documentary's narrator explained. Given that it was found among the temple's rubble, researchers believe that it was dedicated to the goddess of Alaza, the temple itself heavily suggesting it was a place of mysterious ritual with a cult surrounding Alaza. Researchers say the rituals would have involved things like burning incense and chanting. A sacred podium inside was specially designed so the image of the goddess could be kept hidden from sight until the moment of climax. In a very dramatic way, pulling the curtains away, suddenly, you come face to face with the visual image of the goddess Alaza, sitting atop the cultic podium, said Dr. Corbett. Priestesses would have played an important part in the rituals, and the narrator said, Alaza's great status suggests that Nabataean women, too, were important in this society. They continued, certainly, they had far greater rights and freedoms than the women of Europe or the Roman world. The Nabataeans left little to no records, so it is extremely difficult for archaeologists like Dr. Corbett to piece together a complete image of how their civilization and society worked. What is known is that when Petra became flooded with money, neighboring states grew jealous and decided to invade it. The ancient Greeks tried first and failed. It wasn't until the ancient Romans came in 106 AD that the Nabataeans were overrun. They ruled Petra for 250 years. Petra itself had been inhabited since at least 700 BC, until an earthquake ravaged the city and devastated everything in its wake. Petra never quite recovered, and soon, the ancient city of splendors fell off the map. It wasn't until the 19th century when Swiss traveler Johann Ludwig Burckhardt happened upon Petra's ruins that the Western world became aware of the ancient civilization.